Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Farms. So my name is Samantha. I'm gonna bring you guys with me as Stephen and I prepare for our birth to butcher rabbit class today. So we're into teaching people how to humanely dispatch small livestock that they raise on their farm. That's part of homesteading. Being able to humanely dispatch injured animals or the food that you're going to eat. This used to be commonplace in America, as well as other places in the world, and it's not so common anymore. But we always enjoy teaching this class. Something just popped off into the pond. The boys are having a bit. Never know around here. South Louisiana, everything bites. So I wanted to talk to you guys because there's some things that you need to know. First off, fundraising is legally going to end in like 48 hours, and Trump needs our support. I am so thankful to each and every one of you that has helped to support our channel through monetary donations. I'm gonna make a request that everybody that watches this video gives at least $5 to Trump's campaign. Let me tell you why. The Democrats and the liberals pouring money into Biden. Do you guys see what he's doing to this country? Do you see how tight money is for every single person listening to the sound of my voice right now? You can thank Biden's policies for that. And it's going to trickle in to the next couple of years. Imagine if that man gets four more years to destroy this country. So I'm asking to all of you that have been thinking about and, and sending me messages saying, hey, I'm going to donate today. Would you, for me, send that to Trump? Let's put our money where our mouths are and let's see America be set free. Moving on, I wanted to tell you guys, do you remember during the Maui fires? We realized in July of 2023, Governor Green had passed some legislation saying if there was a natural disaster or forest fire, blah, blah, blah. The land would not be controlled by the elders of Hawaiian descent anymore. Basically, the government would have total control of that land. That was done literally three weeks before the fires. I do wanna tell you guys, we got a letter from the notary that works with the Hawaiian king, the one that Hawaii wants for their king. Look, thanking us for our work, your work, your donations to Hawaii, to Maui, to Lahaina and upcountry after those devastating fires. So thanks again to you guys who wrote in our boat for that. She is asking, I'm going to link the video in the description of this video. She's asking you guys go watch that and help. They need help again and they're asking me to reach out to you guys. I gave her my word that I would do that. There's 46,000 of you. We can make a huge difference when we are all of the same mind, of one accord, okay? We can literally become the church, the Acts church in the Bible when we are of one accord. So I just wanted to add that in before I forgot, okay? That knocked out Lahaina, which was a historical town and had a lot of oversight on what could be put where because of the historical religious reasons behind it, okay? So he took control of land that he used to couldn't be able to take control of, is what I'm getting at. Great woman that writes our bi-monthly newsletter sent me that last night. And she's like, Sam, did you realize that in February of 2024, the Biden administration passed a whole lot of new rules, regulations, ordinances, whatever you wanna call it, to control everything that comes into the ports. So I started doing a little digging. I would ask that you guys do a whole lot more and keep me updated because I'm busy. But I wanted to bring it to your fact that they were expecting cyber attacks. And then quickly, within an hour of this accident, they claim it was not a terrorist attack. And within a couple of days, Biden says, don't worry about it. The American government is going to build back the bridge. My tax dollars building a bridge in Maryland. And do you guys remember 
the lady who made the comment about how money from blue states, Democrat states, their tax dollars go to help us poor, poverty-stricken rural areas, Republican areas. Do y'all remember that comment? Eat dirt, boo-boo. Eat dirt. Now, our poverty-stricken rural areas are here to help you rebuild your bridge in your Democrat state. Because you guys are broke. Maryland's broke. They're, they're in the red. Like every other major Democrat-ran uh, city. Sorry. And state. But definitely city. I mean, the truth really, really hurts these people. There is separation of state and federal for a reason. Now, they have insurance companies involved in this. And Maryland should be building its own bridge. Sorry, that's just how I feel. But what I found very interesting when I started digging into this was how many cranes in America are controlled by China. Okay? So China's got a huge foothold all over America. They're buying up land around military bases. They're buying up farmland and shipping the food back to China. They're ravaging the oceans all over the world. I mean, China's a beast, dude. And now, come to find out, all of our ports of entry, you know, our seaports, China's involved in them. So if at any point China wants to shut down unloading ships at docks, basically they can. Just like what they did during COVID, shutting down all of the meat packaging and slaughterhouses across America. Hence, the reason Stephen and I teach people to slaughter their own food. I'm just saying. Look, I can't... I can't combat the United Nations and I can't beat the state, but I can take control and occupy where I live. And that's what we do. Stop for a second and show you guys what these two little monsters are getting into today. I wonder what they're going to do when that thing's full of crawfish and their little toes are getting bit when they walk in there. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Look at my babies. It's that hot today. So moving right along, you guys. Let's talk about let's talk about the open borders. Yesterday I brought information to you guys, talking to you about the age of consent for sex with young girls in a lot of these countries that we see migrant male migrants pouring in, illegal aliens pouring into our country, coming from countries that have extremely low consensual age for sex. I mean, some of them say as soon as puberty hits, go ahead, she's up for grabs. Sickening is, isn't it? Well, let's talk about how many illegal aliens in January of 2024 did ICE get who have warrants out for rape, murder, kidnapping, and child rape. Look at that. Like their word usage of a non-citizen. That, that non-citizen equals illegal alien. Call it what it is. Quit. You can always tell when a liberal-minded person wrote an article always which is why i want to encourage you guys if you have not signed on to get our bi-monthly newsletter please do find however much money you can venmo cash at paypal i will pin those in comments of this video they'll be at the very first comment will be that one send what you can i'll get your email i'll get you attached to the email where Leslie's doing the bi-monthly newsletter. The reason I'm saying this is she's introducing people to definitions and she's going to walk you through language so that you understand why some of these words are being used to confuse you. So she's going to help fight that confusion and she's going to help you see the light. It's amazing. She does an amazing job. I highly suggest 
you get that newsletter and it comes out twice a month and it gives you a way to communicate with like-minded people, giving you a support system, okay? It's another way to be able to reach me is through Leslie. So that's just, you know, we're trying to put in some other ways to make you feel like this platform is more like a place where you can come, not just to be educated, but to be heard, all right? Moving on, the problem I have with all these men coming into the country is one murder after another. I mean, one rape after another. Look at this one. He was doing 50 shades of gray, he said. Wanted to live it out. And then there's this one. And then there's the accident with the bus the other day in Texas. Fernandez or Hernandez, whatever it is. Um, sorry, but I couldn't even find his picture. It took me 45 minutes to find one picture of this man because I think they're trying to hide it. And my question is, does anybody know if this man is actually a citizen of this country? Or has he just been living here 30 years illegally? It says resident of Texas, but it doesn't say American citizen. So when they intentionally try to leave out information, it makes me believe they're trying to hide information. He killed a four-year-old child and a man that was in um, graduate school who had a good future ahead of him. He killed two innocent people, took their lives. It wasn't the first time he'd been in trouble. And I can't believe he still had a CDLs. So that's my question. Why, why are we seeing all these people dying, being raped, being kidnapped, being beaten, being killed by drunk drivers? They're all illegal. Every one of them. And I know what people are going to say. We already had all this in America before they came. Shame on you. You missed my point. None of these people would be dead or injured or raped or molested or kidnapped if that person wasn't in this country or this person that I found. It's bad. It's bad out there. Protect your family. Happy Resurrection Sunday, you guys. Tomorrow is Easter. It is a day that we celebrate a risen Savior. And I'm going to say this because I think some of you need to hear it. Stop asking that stupid question. Where's Easter in the Bible? Can you show me that, please? No, but I can show you where being a smart aleck isn't a real good thing for God. He don't like it. You're not a better Christian if you don't use the word Easter, okay? I'm gonna tell you the truth. New Christians or even old Christians Easter to a Christian is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, not about Easter Bunny. I don't care where the word comes from. It makes no absolute difference. My God knows that I am celebrating the risen Savior. If I call it Easter, he's okay with that. Stop trying to be superior. It causes division. It causes confusion. And it hurts other people's feelings because you cannot hurt mine. So I'm going I'm to warn you. I'm going to snap back at you if you pull some nonsense like that on this channel. Stop being those people. Stop being those Christians. How many people have you led to Christ? The ones of you with that nonsense? Probably none. That's my point. Make it about Jesus and not about yourself. God bless you guys. Talk to you later. All right. This is Stephen. Stark your fourth dead. All right. They say in they um closing up or putting migrant Im immigrants and stuff working at the Tyson plant. I love Tyson. Don't get me wrong. I love my Tyson. Woo, I can eat it. But I won't eat it no more. They do that. But let them all go to work there. They put a big fence around it. Hold them in there. <laughs> Hold them in there. With, hey, if they're going to kill, they don't kill themselves. That's right. That's right. As we're getting them out of there, shipping them back. Yeah, just keep them there until Trump yeah. takes office. Let's lock them up. Lock them up, baby. Lock them up and make them make chicken nuggets. That's right. <laughs>